Freecode Camp Backend Development and APIs. We are in the Basic Node and Express course on the seventh challenge where we are going to implement a root level request logger. Okay, so you could read all this, definitely read all this when you're going through the material, but essentially what we're going to do here is add middleware functions to our app. So this middleware specifically that we're adding now is going to take three arguments. Uh, that's how all middleware works, really and execute some code uh, that can have side effects on the app. Usually it adds information, da, da, da. So in this example here, we're, all we're going to do is create a middleware function that logs all the requests to our apps, our app. So whenever we get a request, it'll tell us uh, the path and the IP, the methods it'll, like get, post, put, whatever, the path that they're on on the app, and then the IP address. So it should look like this here, get, someone goes to the slash JSON route and then their IP. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to use the app.use method, which is how we implement all middleware in our application, and then pass it off to our handler function and then do whatever we want, and then use the dot or the next method, which is a built-in that will tell the app to continue going. This triggers the third argument next. Cool. Let's do that in our app. So here we are back in our Replit app. This would be the same as if you were uh, doing all this these challenges locally. So we can look here. We have all of our project files. We're in the myapp.js file. And then we can start the seventh challenge. So this is going to be middleware. Uh, generally, I would put middleware at the top of the app so the app knows to use it, but it should work down here probably. If not, we'll have to move it up, but let's just app.use, and then we'll give it uh, give it huh. really, we don't really need to give it any path, I don't believe. So, yeah, we'll just give it the function, the handler function, as its only argument. Okay, so let's just say request, response, and then we also have to pass it the next function. And then we will tell the app to console.log, and then we want to log the requests of the app, so the method path IP. Okay. So we can say request.method to access that, request.path, and request.ip. So let's just put in an F string here. So that's the backtick above the tab under the escape next to the one key. And then we can say request.method. Method, yep. And then close that off. So that'll uh, plug in the request method there with that string is and then we can give it a space space request.ip so that's the IP that the request is coming from and then the last one request dot method path IP so request.path that's what we need Let's go back over here request.path and then request.ip and then once we log what we need to log in console which th basically what this will do is tell the app to use this before every request and it will just log the request and then we can tell it to dot next or just next which is moving on and executing whatever route is actually accessed okay so we should be able to stop the app start up the app again and then we should see if we go to this link here, go to the home page, we should see the request in console. We do not see that in console, so something's not working properly. Let's see what we didn't do. Uh, uh, path IP, remember to call the dot next function, or the next function. Have logs open to see when the request arrives. Console. We have the console open, so we should be seeing everything. Uh, interesting. 
maybe it is because we have this down here. Let's copy this, move it up here with our other middleware functions. So our other app.use. Stop the server, start it up again. Okay, there we go. So as we can see, that was the issue. We do need to have this in order, evidently. Uh, so we have our middleware here, and then all of the routes below it, all the other actual verb methods below it. So as you can see, this is the IP that the site is calling to get this little web view of our app. Uh, and we can actually copy this and let's paste it in free code camp. Paste it in, complete the challenge. Root level middleware should be active. Method path IP. Ah, dash IP. So we need to add a little method path dash IP. So this has to be exact for free code camp to actually pick it up. So if we do that, there we can see this loaded in. We got the we logged a request. We can then check it again now, and that should do it. So if we check back in our app, we can see that Free Code Camp made a GET request to the JSON route at that IP, and it was a GET request JSON there. So that's all we had to do. It is important to note though that evidently we do have to have our middleware above any of the routes that. Uh, we'll actually use it, so these need to come first. App.use comes before app.get, app.post, app.whatever. App.use needs to come before it. Okay, so that's all we have to do for that one. Hope that helps. Hope that made sense. See you guys in the next challenge.